and we are talking about big, bold wallpaper. So you're saying you are a convert. I'm a total convert. You know what? I've always sort of gone safe, nice grass cloth or linen. Yes. But I, I had the chance a couple years ago to do some really vibrant wallpaper for a client, and it completely sold me. I love Amazing. it now, and you can use it not only in big spaces, but in small spaces. So I'll show you what you can do. Very cool. So this first picture we have, this is Ellie Cashman uh, wallpaper, but you just see this dramatic floral, which is so beautiful, I would say, you know, for a bedroom space or anywhere. Anywhere. You, so you can use that, for instance, the, the beauty of that is that there's so much negative space behind, and then you have these gorgeous, you know, large-scale roses, yeah. and they've coupled it. Uh, with a traditional f uh, fabric, which makes all the difference. Love that. Yeah. Okay, so now uh, we started with Kimberly's powder room. We're going to take a look at another uh, powder, room. A powder room right yeah. now. Uh, very big, bold design. So I love this pattern. It's tonal. You've got the you know a nice neutral background, but the scale of this paper is so vibrant and so um, dramatic. Yeah. And I love the fact that it it's it's a little bit uh, traditional, yes. but also because it's uh, geometric. It gives it you can go either way you can go a little bit more contemporary or traditional and again you can do that in a powder room and it's not over, it that's not too much right yeah so you have to think beyond that I think you, you know do. look at this wallpaper I think this is one of my favorites I've never seen anything like it absolutely it's, stunning that is so stunning it's beautiful and you we see it here um, in studio so the nice thing about this again you can use a wallpaper like this for instance if you're doing a kids bedroom and you want a great backdrop for that neutral headboard or maybe it's a black headboard and you're doing this behind it yeah. it really creates interest and we all know that color is really big it just keeps getting stronger and stronger and I know that you're gonna see a lot more of that this coming year so this yes. is a great way to introduce it and again you can do this in a dining room and paint the rest of the room in one of the contrasting uh, colors. So cool, like that is drama. Now drama. take a look at this next wallpaper because in real life if I saw this, I don't know if I would ever go for it. <laughs> so there it is looking stunning against this wall and really nice with the furniture there as well. And then you see it here, and it's like, I don't know, man. Love the mid-century modern yeah. with this tapestry or this sort of brocade pattern. So that tension between the very clean line furniture and then this super traditional uh, pattern is what creates the interest. And it's that's be what's both. coming right out of Paris. Right. So you that's what you're going to You have to have both together, you though. Do. If, if you, you don't have that tension, it either looks really It aged, looks like your Baba's place. Kind of. Right. Yeah. <laughs> kind so of does. you modern with traditional. Right. Okay, take a look at this next uh, pattern as well. You've got a lot of the very, very bold in this space. Really nice the way they've used it, though. So this was where, actually, this was the wallpaper that my client... Um, we did this in her in her hallway, wow. and that's what gave me the inspiration to get a little bit more creative and a little bit more, um, you know, bold with with color. Right. So this is a hand blocked wallpaper. It has a chinoiserie um, design to it. So it, yeah. you know, the dragons and the large flowers, and it just really is something special to see because it it looks. Um, it's so unexpected. It's very unexpected. Even where uh, where you put it is an unexpected place. But it's nice because everything else around it is very subtle. Exactly. And that's kind of what you have to do. And it just draws you right up that corridor. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this next one I think is gorgeous. And this is sort of like a, would you call it a graphic floral? Like a digitized floral? It's a digitized floral, exactly. Yeah. And it's uh, wonderful because it has this metallic finish to it. And again, you know, that bold color. So not only is it the large scale print, but the bold color. And that I would definitely couple with a gorgeous black um, sofa, like a black velvet sofa. Oh, yeah. And that would be just very, very dramatic. And finally, we have this one, uh, which I love. That's really pretty. So, you know, that degraded um, stripe, absolutely beautiful, very modern, again, and and you can use that in a in a mud room, you can use it in a powder room, yep. you can use it essentially anywhere. Any of these can be used in any room. Part of the hesitation, I think, as well, is because we remember the uh, the 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 work that comes along with scraping off wallpaper of the past. Right. So then you don't necessarily want to make a commitment like this because you're scared. Now it comes off easily. It comes off easily. So you can switch it if you, you know, if you feel like you've, you've gone with a pattern that's a little bit too bold and you're going to want to get out of it. It's not going to be years and years of you taking a 
tooth a chisel, pick, exactly. a chisel <laughs> and getting rid of it on your wall, right? And I think the key here is uh, rather than doing an entire room, great to do in an entire powder room yeah. or a mud room, but don't do your your entire dining room. Right. You know, maybe yeah. you want to do a panel detail and yes. put one of these inside the panel, uh -huh. or again, just the backdrop for your headboard. Right. That's enough. That is enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much for those. those